Sim, eu não vou no rolo, na rua na bomba é. E que tu coque que é minha cara. E que já tô tão boa. A bomba na bomba é. Mamãe, a rua na minha tudo. A bomba na bomba é. Meu bem, a rua é Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
As we speak, our people are moving all across their front land. Before I say what I'm going to say, this is the Master Prophet, young Joshua Yowins, the working one of the Biafran people, Biafran spiritual leader. For a long time, our people have been taken advantage of. Our people have worshipped whatever their occupying powers have asked them to worship. But time has come when we will restore our dignity. I call this caption today Restoring the Evil Ancestral Throne and Spiritual Integrity. Spirituality, Spiritual Integrity. This is long overdue. It's long overdue. In the end of 2020, I said that we are going to build Ubi Ndibu. 
and the purpose, the reason of doing that is to bring our people back, even in this state that Ali Bonaba Arara. Ali Bonaba Arara. And you can see all around, all around the place that our people are not united. Everybody can see that. Everybody can see that. Everybody can see that. Everybody can see that we are not working together. Everybody can see that. And one of the popular saying among the Igbos is that why must it be that Ndibo and Wegeze? <laughs> because Ibos has lost the ancestral throne. If I call 90 people which are Ndibo or the Ibos, if I ask them where did their God come from, the first thing that they will say that it comes from Israel. The first thing that they will say that their that their God comes from Israel. If you ask them, they will say that they are the children of Israel, that they are the lost tribe of Israel. This is what our people will say. Because our people don't know where we come from. And that's why we do not know where we are heading to. Our people have lost, has lost it. So that's why in the beginning of this year, I said, I am going to restore that as the prophets over my people. That I'm going to take up this task to clean up to clean up the mess that has been made for over a thousand years ago we will restore the Igbo ancestral throne and the spiritual integrity I was told Divine Mother told me that her maternal home that they call them Omo Ago because they don't kill Ago, they don't kill lion. Why is that they don't kill lion? Because how Omo Ago? And remember the the white people taught our people that whatever that Israel are or whatever the white man is the lion of the tribe of Judah and the only thing that our people know is what was taught to them they don't know what happened in their own land they don't know what happened what took place in another person's land but we are going to restore all those things. As the prophet of the Most High, I will restore it. If that will be the work that I am called to do here on this planet Earth, let it be. We will restore the evil ancestors' throne and spiritual integrity. We are in a time that a young boy will come out, and a boy of 30 will come out and see an elder of 60, 70 and say, Shut up, we shall again. You get me again. You want to We shall again. Turn the fire, you got permission. Because he was Ndibo, and we get Ndibo, he was have no God. They quote the God of Israel. They quote the God of the white man. They read the book of the white man. All those things will change because the prophet has arise. When, <laughs> when I was 
brought into this world in my old life here on the planet earth i said when i'm back here in this time that i will search i will seek and i will find out the truth and the truth i will establish and anyone that is not the mighty one of our people that i will uproot and destroy it and i have been in that quest all my time that's why you see i never worry or this blink 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 maybe trying to create a church because i know if i create a church i used to have one before if i continue running a church there will be no pastor here on the planet earth that will have more private jets or houses or a bunch of women to sleep with greater than me because i have genuine power given to me by the supreme not by religion I have genuine ability to dream dreams given by me by the supreme the creator of all things not by religion I have the ability given to me by the supreme to prophesy given to me by the most high the supreme the maker of all things not by religion and I can say thing and the universe the most high the supreme almighty god will establish it it was not given to me by any religion and this is something that our people has not learned but today the little time that I will, I will have I'm going to try to I pray that the supreme the maker of all things universal consciousness the most high Yahweh Yahuwah Chuku God will help me the land of my ancestors Igbo land will help me the power that is there will help me to be able to articulate this into the heart of my people but before i say that if there is a god that must be a goddess if there is a god that must be a goddess if there is a man that must be a woman if there is good that must be bad if there is negative energy that must be positive energy that is the way it is you can change that it is according to the universal principle that is good and evil as we are speaking mighty men are going all around alibo to search places to see where the voice of the most high has been calling the awoken one of the bear from people even as i speak mighty men are going and about five minutes ago i spoke with them on the phone i said go and search that place that I'm, a place that i'm hearing the voice of the most high where the chuku kachachin in the dwells in the land of my fathers in the land of my ancestors and uh, as they're working the one of the BFM people that is the work that I have committed myself to I thank the most high that I have detached myself of something that I put upon myself to a trump for the past five months I detached myself from him and now his horn has been broken because he failed to appreciate the working one of the BFM people and now he's not licking his wound and the working one has moved on because the more because the, the supreme the universe has already moved on but now i am i'm turning my energy towards doing something that is something that i always said you can have one million wives like that fool called solomon well he never existed you can have multiple children you can have bundle of money you can have all the whole 20 decades in different places in open work in a in abuja you know where in all the whole banana island or, or or granite island or orange island you can have 20 decades there the greatest work that will last forever is a work that you did one the awakening of the consciousness of your people and the physical liberation of your people that is the only work that is the only thing that you do here on the planet earth that will last forever 
If you like, below those decades, highest 10 years, your properties will be shared. Lawyers will come and they will fight over your properties. And at the end of the day, the bundle of <coughs> wives which you have accumulated, they will fight over your properties. And they will piss on your grave. But the work that you did concerning the awakening or the liberation, the physical liberation and the awakening of the consciousness of your people, your name will be remembered in the next two, three, four, five thousand years. And as I speak, there has been a few black people that have done a lot of work concerning the liberation of physical liberations of the people and the spiritual awakening of their people that has been very few. But the most high, the supreme has awakened my consciousness and brought this into my work, into my mind, in order to head up this awakening of the consciousness of our people. The spiritual liberation to liberating them from all these um, all those rishi rishi rubbish that people has wrote and and you know prepared and copied from here to there and today our people has been taken advantage of I as the weekend one of the BFM people I will restore the ancestral throne and the spiritual integrity of our people. Divine Mother told me that her mother, the Queen of Heaven, where she came from, that their land, it is called they, that they don't kill lion, that none of the uh, none of the citizens of the land will go to the bush and kill lion or Lion doesn't kill them because so they because they are the children, the tribe of lion in Ibo land. I never seen that in the Bible. Nobody told us that, and we heard that there was a a land during the war. that the enemies were unable to cross the river because the river was so powerful that any enemy that crossed the river, the river would draw them in. And that was the energy that dwells in the land. That is awesome. I heard that there was also a bush that the enemies were not able to cross the bush. And that's why war did not come to that village in Alimo. You can beat that. All those things took place in our own land, but we cannot find them in any book. Nobody can tell us those things in any book. But what we had is what Dora Bushit. On the water. Time has gone for that rubbish. We Shalom, we are, I'm back again. A little bit. Uh, 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 but I is great. I will continue on the saying of what is taking place as I speak right now. Our spiritual team, headed by a great man, is going right now as I speak all across Biafran land, Ibo land, to see and to check what we have in that place. The only thing we know are the things that was handed over to us by the slave masters. The book we read, 
given to us by our slave masters. Everything we do, given to us by our slave masters. The way we pray, given to us by our slave masters. Everything we have was taught to us by our slave masters. You have to understand when you are defeated in war and the history of your people are written by your enemies, you can never survive. You cannot stand strong when your history has been designed or written or prepared by those who defeated you in war. Before the line went out, I was saying that there are a lot of things that is going on in our land which has not been reported or which has not been shared. More especially the powerful, powerful things that are taking place in our land. As a prophet, it is a force, it is my duty. When I said that the Most High has spoken, that I really know truly that the Most High has spoken. And as you see now, our people are like a sheep without a shepherd. If you look around, brothers are killing brothers. Ali Bonabara as I speak. That is something that is going on. And that's why we have been looking, pushing this in a manner of man. But you have to understand that till the Most High protects the house, those that died the house and died in vain. We must restore our evil, evil ancestral throne. And you restore your yeah? things will change. Our people will come together. That our people cannot work together as one. This is it's a spiritual problem. The ego issue is first of all spiritual issue and must be dealt with spiritually. I need a gagama tebe and you drop with the bone. Eleba and you drop with this bone. We have to find out. Because I'm tired of about Yatonogwe. Abozo Yatonogwe. Aboeba Yatonogwe. There has been people in the past that have tried to bring our people together, but they never succeeded. And we're in it again now. So as a prophet, I got Juju. Ma, why these things are taking place? This is the duty of Onyamoma to go and find out and learn what is happening as the chief priest of Ndibu, as the Onyamoma Ndibu, I have taken it upon myself to go and find out. (laughs) 
illegal chopata. What is going on? Oh, give me name. Give me name and I leave. And then give me name. I leave one day. One man and one cannot work together. On our own, no evil can work together. Only your own no evil can work together. But only your own evil cannot work together. Highest one year has to attach to each other. Highest two years they will sabotage each other. Or give me name here, name Benny. We will not continue this trend. Have destroyed us. As a prophet, I got a judge. I need a job at any name. Don't think if I say now my God judge you that and my God like only did be. Oh, only did be a card. I won't get one of the beer from people. I think. Where we drop the ball is that we have choosing things that we think that is from the Supreme. But those things are not from the Supreme. They are not from the Most High. My question, what I want to ask is that why is that there were some villages during the war that the enemy were not able to enter into the land. Why is it like that? Why is that during the war there are some villages because of there was mighty water or ocean or river or stream borderline even Indian you know, could not cross that water. They tried, but they were unable. Why is that they were not able to enter? And why is that now, as I speak, it's not the way it used to be years ago? So, if there were power in the land 60 years ago, how come they are no longer power? Now, check how many churches we have in the land. How many churches do we have in the land now, as I speak? How many churches do we have in Imo State? How many churches do we have in Anambra State? Ebony State? How many churches do we have in Alibo? I think it's more than 10,000. How many churches do we have in Alibu during the war or before the war? Maybe 1,000 or 2,000 or, or 100. So how come the enemy were not able to enter into the land? And now, when there are a lot of churches, the enemies can enter. You have to ask yourself that question. Why is that the enemy cannot enter years ago, but the enemy can enter now? Because Allah Rona, Nibu, it may be an Alibu. Ndem Madu, it may run out. He had easy, or to make it So we have to go and find out. Why is that there was a village, the maternal home of Divine Mother? They said they are the children of Omaago because they don't kill lions. And I have How come nobody? How come nobody told us this thing that even in Igbo land? There was a tribe, they said they don't kill lion, and lion don't kill them. How 
come, the only thing that we had is that there are a place that we call in, a, in Israel the, the tribe of Judah. How come there is no tribe of evil land? The lion. I heard there was a place in Ibo land which during the war they were unable to penetrate the land. They were unable to penetrate the land because of a, a great python were in the bush. So if the great python were protecting the people, so the great python was not eating the people, but the python were protecting the people. So that means the python loved the people. We have to find out. We have to find out. Because people have taken advantage of us. So that's why I have set up a team to go and look back in our land and see what we have in there. And by the grace of the Most High, we will restore the evil ancestral throne and the spiritual integrity. We will restore evil Ibo ancestral throne and spiritual integrity. I see in the near future Ndibo Genweze, one unified king. And I see that one day those people who want to rule our people, who want to lead our people, we will ask them to come. Karagadishi. It's no longer the time which they will swear with Bible. Time has gone. Time is over. When those who want to rule us will go and swear with the Bible. Time has come. When those who want to be chief, it will not be one businessman. Every day, it will be a man or a woman of integrity. Restore in time has come when those who want to be chief. Sorry. It will not be one businessman. Every day he has to Sorry. It will be a man or a woman of integrity. Restore in time. I remember a man came out, came back from the United States and he has not been in a label for the past 10 years and immediately he was given chief tenancy title. Somebody came back from Dubai and he was given a chief tenancy title. Somebody came back from America he was made the king of his people. But as when we restore our ancestral throne, anybody that will sit on any throne of our people will come there and swear that he will be loyal to our people, that every work that he will do will be for the best interest of Ndibo and not for the best interest of Ndiawosa. Those who want to lead our people in any capacity, whatever they are, if they are not able to come to the land, they will send somebody to go there and swore on their behalf. 
if they mislead our people, if they take advantage of our people, Ali Bogakubu. When those things take place, surely you will say that we have restored the ancient, the ancestral throne as it used to be before. When the land, the powerful, I was told a story that was a village where when where the native doctor put out put away his wife and then at the end of it he did not do the appropriate thing you know he put away the wife and then brought the wife back again without doing the required thing the cleansing and immediately the land that is awesome. I remember when a woman went out, out of the family, and went outside and lay with another man. And she came back home that night, something knocked on her door and came and beat the crap out of her. That was powerful. I think if I would be a prophet, I would be a prophet of that energy. Not a prophet of something that has no power. Then I should be the only mama in Kalibu. That the energy, that the power in the land has power. So when I say something, the energy has power to enforce the rules and regulations of our people, the ordinance of our people. I remember when somebody in the land went and stole somebody's boat. Our watch back will come. Surely I should be a prophet of that power, of that God. But you have to understand that energy or the supreme is one. The supreme and the energy is one, power is one. The power to do good or the power to do evil is one power, it's one energy, it's one God, it's one supreme, it's not two. So if that power or that energy or if that God or that Chuku in Aliyubu that was enforcing the rules and regulations of the land, if that one was powerful and those people now run around Bible. A pastor pregnanted five women, five ladies in his church, and still stood on the pulpit preaching and preaching and preaching, and nothing happened. And the native doctor went out and did the same thing. Which one do you want to belong? In a church, a member came to the pastor for prayer, said that she's going to Onicha to buy supplies. And the pastor, knowing that this woman has a bundle of money, and the pastor went out and waited for this woman. I cannot take this call. Yeah, hello? Mm, I call you later. Call me in, in 10 minutes. I'm online. 10 minutes. So, this pastor went out and wait for this woman. And beat the crap out of the woman and took all the bundle of money that she had. But don't forget, this woman came to the morning prayer in the morning. Prayer meeting in the morning before going to your nature. So the pastor went out and go and wait for her on the way. I do not want to follow 
any energy that has no power because I have my myself I have energy in me we must clean up the land if we don't clean up a little <laughs> I believe there is one God. I believe there is one power. I believe there is one energy. Then why is that 40, 50, 60, 70, 100 years ago in the land, if somebody did something wrong, the land would take care of the person? That is justice immediately. Not that the native doctor did something. No, the land will take care of the person immediately, here and there. Or the land will stop the person and they will go and find that they say, Oh, because he has pregnant another man's wife. Oh, because she has, you know, uh, she has done something she's not supposed to do, or she has went outside her husband and has an affair, and that's why the stomach is bigger than the mountain. And they will say, okay, thought and thought and thought she would do. She would do this and do this and do this and do this. And by doing that, the land will. To appease the land. We have to restore our ancestral throne and our spiritual integrity. And this is what we're doing. Right now, as I speak, men of integrity are going to spy the land, are going to test the land, and we will, and yet we will be in the Igbo, in Igbo land, where these people, bunch of people that is running around that want to rule us, we will require them to come and take an oath. Time will come, all these governors, we will ask them to come and take an oath. That the allegiance will be only to evil people. That their first customers will be their constituency. Unibu. That their priority are unibu. If they take eighty percent of their location given to them, that unibu that come. By that time, holiness will be restored in the land. Holiness will be restored in the church. All these pastors, no share. Holiness will be restored in the land. Righteousness will reign again. Our daughters will not be polluting themselves. Will not be going a show anymore. Because Ali will, will be purified, sanctified once again. As a prophet, that is my duty. I'm not doing it because of me. I'm doing it for the future. For our people that will come in the next 2,000 years. Because if we don't do it, they will not have a place. They will not have a land. We must restore our spiritual integrity. We have lost it. Israel, Brun, Archbishop of Canterbury, Brun, Pope, Brun, and then those of We will restore. We will restore. You know, a lot of people, they are scared. Oh, but I will. I will not. I, any stone, any old Kutobola, Agma. We will find a place and the land. We will restore sanctity. We will restore spirituality in the land. Where the native doctors will not be lying in the name of hearing from Amadioma or hearing from Mamiwata or hearing from Agwishi. Allah will kill them. 
we will restore obedi where all these evil native doctors if they come in and like that we will do the obedi where all these fake pastors no she no kill our boyfriend if they come in like a cobra no do she we will sanctify the land we will purify the land alibo gawo a place called the holy land once again all those things that people wrote on our behalf we will not regard them no more because there is a prophet in the land there is a prophet in the land and so it shall be thank you for listening to me this is the master prophet they are working the one of the different people different spiritual leader we will restore the ebo ancestral throne and the spiritual integrity where there will be holiness in the land once again where the land will protect its people where the power in the ocean will protect its inhabitants where alibo the chapa ndibo binibo na alibo where the pythons in the forest will not harm its citizens and where the holidays will be respected where women will respect and honor their oath we will restore the land and when we restore our spiritual integrity and this coconut that is upon the head of our people finally will be broken our people will come together as one and they will decide on what to do and by that time nini na ina acho oga de possible nini ne wo obuno obuno bi ndi igbo oga becha na mmezi ko the spiritual supersede the physical and the spiritual will be taken care of thank you mama we have a page called obindebo and also we have a facebook page called obindebo i think i'm going to place this thing there please come and join us all for ndibo nine no politics ndibo ka ni boka aka ogba ara ara ala na gba ara ara ala na gba ara ara ala na gba ara ara i remember the time that they said that there is a masquerade that a woman cannot see or a woman cannot touch these days a woman goes and take a selfie with a masquerade there is some places which they said a woman cannot cross this day the woman cross them i remember in the days where they said one are na ari eluoji this day one are na ari eluoji je ora ojita i remember when they said na that a time that one are na awoji now one are na eluoji wata ala na bahara ala na bahara If you see what I'm seeing come and join us I also know that I get one way pins Oh Chakta Then if they come I got my hand over to Alibo and Alibo get them 
ebane to mi dojo nda gba arup mega because there is power in the mouth of the prophet there is power no no ni amuma ntibo as the high priest we will sanctified purified the ancestral throne and the spiritual integrity for our people shalom mama